Whether you're for or against guns, there's no denying the fact that America has some staggering numbers when it comes to gun violence. There are 13,286 people killed in gun homicides in America. Without counting suicides, 26,819 people were injured. Car accident deaths in America was around 35,000 people, while the amount of gun deaths was 33,000. That's a difference of only 2,000 people. As a nation, we spend millions of dollars on safety features and procedures. Even more money goes into protecting ourselves against terrorism, and new procedures are constantly being put into effect. Do you know how many people die from terrorism on average? About 31. Around 31 Americans die annually from terrorism, and yet we spend far more money and time protecting ourselves from that than from the gun violence killing thousands each year. If the Paris terrorist attacks from 2015 happened every month, French gun violence would still be lower than America's. In fact, about 27 Americans are killed from gun violence every day. 27 people at the least are killed in gun violence every day. Did you know that Americans are seven times more likely to die from gun violence and six times more likely to accidentally die from gun violence? If we're that much more prone to dying from this than all of these other developed nations, why haven't we done anything? Even though the U.S. is considered a well-developed nation, our firearm homicide rate towers over other countries at about 9,146 people. Germany only had 42 deaths. The U.S. firearm homicide rate was higher than that of Pakistan and a little less than the Democratic Republic of the Congo. In a study with 22 other equally developed nations, the U.S. had half of the study's population, but accounted for 82% of all the gun deaths. That's unbelievable. 92% of teenagers and young adults that died from gun violence happened in America. That's terrifying. More young people died in America than in Japan or the UK. Why? There's thought to be 300 million guns in the United States held by only one third of our population. So is it a surprise that gun violence has a 25 times higher rate in America than in those other nations? You're always warned about gun violence occurring overseas. However, there are enough statistics happening in America to showcase our big issues with these weapons. Around 20 people in America are killed by guns compared to every one person in the UK. About two thirds of all US homicides are actually gun homicides. And as of September 26th, guns have been used in 71.5% of US murders. Did you know that across the country, the violent crime rate has actually gone down? In most places in the United States, violent crime rate is lower than it used to be. But of course, there are a few outliers such as Chicago and St. Louis. The ownership of guns, however, is on the rise. If we have a lower crime rate, then why are we buying more guns? The manufacturing of these weapons has gone up to almost doubling from its total of over 3 million. Is the answer to the increase in ownership because of the manufacturing increase? Or did manufacturing grow because more people decided to pick up a weapon? Will this increase in ownership bring our violent crime rate up again? No matter where you turn, there's no denying the fact that America has a problem. The numbers and statistics are hard to ignore. America has an issue, and countries around the world just like us can see it, so why can't we?